Well, would you look at that? I'm still alive. And now I have a nice little haircut to boot. I'll take it you contemplated making use of that blade to end me, and then making your escape. I won't blame you. It's something I might have tried if I were you. But, then you would have to deal with a warrior, three times your size, with a blade ten times the size of yours, right outside. I congratulate you for seeing the most logical path to take, my little Vec. I'm glad you didn't prioritize stupidity over your own life. Because if you did, I assure you we wouldn't be having this conversation, and you'd be chatting it up with your divines or whatever. Point being, I'm delighted that you gave me a haircut. And I thank you. Hm. Now all the other boys outside are gonna want their own little Vec to cut their mangy locks. Hm. To the victor go the spoils, I say. I should invest in more white robe servants instead of just mowing them through like river reeds. <laughs> Maybe we could they even work out a deal if you magic types weren't always trigger happy with those little spells you throw at us. We're people too, but I get the feeling you prim and proper vex like to see us as dirty dogs with no sense of propriety. Guess it won't matter too much, because each one that tosses a fireball at me is getting a swift split of the axe right up their magic jacksy. War is war. No one likes them, but no one wants to lose them either. And us Alheim Highlanders aren't going to run with our tails between our legs because some Asadi can fire a golden bow or some Vec can hurl some sparks at us. This can all be over if they all just realize that this new land is connected to the children of Alheim. It's our birthright. It's not for anyone else to control. I wouldn't be opposed to tourists, but your leaders and the Asadi are only here for what they can get from this land. Not for what they can give to the land. And until we can see eye to eye, that conflict will continue to destroy good and innocent people all over the land. For all sides. I kill out of necessity and defending what is mine. Why do you, little Vec? Anyway, I apologize for the ranting. This war is just getting old at this point. There's no clear winner, and I don't feel like staying away from my home too much longer. I would ask if you felt the same, but circumstances aside, we were fighting each other not but a few days ago. But, I don't want to view you as my enemy anymore. You no longer have that eyesore of a white robe. And, I will treat you with no more hostility unless it's deserved. You are, however, my servant. And I still don't know if you intend to hurt me or not. And so, that's what I want to fix. That's why I gave you the task of cutting my hair. I want you to understand us. And I want to understand you. Perhaps it's something that may help our cultures see eye to eye. And maybe help bring an end to this bloodshed. I've had too many friends leave me over the last few years. I'm not ready to lose any more. So please, let's try to understand each other. Maybe you'll find that I'm not a wild dog, and perhaps I can see the beauty behind your magic. Other than your face, that is.
Of course. <laughs> But, that begins with true trust. Can we do that, little Vec? Can I trust you? Then good. You can say goodbye forever to that cage. Because I'm choosing to trust you. So you'll stay here, in this tent, with me. No chains, no bindings, no restraints. Just two people who trust one another, coexisting. Can we do that without killing each other by the end of the next moon? Hmm. Then I shall trust we may be fast friends, even. Plus, I may need assistance with the next migration. It'll be good to have a trusted servant with me at all times. It just helps that you're not that irritating to look at. A pretty servant is always a nice boost in morale, I'd say. <laughs> so, I'll get your arrangements set up here in my tent. And, maybe I'll get you some other things. Hmm. A drawing book? You Vec do have a knack for art. Maybe a musical instrument if you're so inclined. Or perhaps more clothes for different occasions. Leathers may be difficult to wear to bed. I know Usha don't. <laughs> well, that's another thing you'll have to get used to when living alongside me. <laughs> Our people come from two very different cultures. So be prepared to do some, <laughs> some shit you may find taboo or outlandish. Because Highlanders... Specialize in one thing. Doing whatever the hell we want with no regret or embarrassment. <laughs> so, are you able to jive with that? Or do you still need your own cage of rules and order? Well then, prove it to me. Be someone I can trust. A Highlander. And a Vec. And maybe you'll see the world through the eyes of a stranger. Little Vec. Now, my servant. In the morning we pack up and search for a water supply. Our forces need more refreshment. I will have you travel alongside me in my cart. And perhaps, you'll meet some more of my brethren. You'll live more as a Highlander with us. So best start getting comfortable, huh? <laughs> huh. Well then, let's see how you adjust.